This feels natural, you know. <laughs> Welcome to Guitar Hunter. I'm Jeremy, this channel is Guitar Hunter, and here's the thing, you need to work on your ears. There are critical aspects that you need to pay attention to. So in this video, I'm going to teach you six components of guitar tone that you need to pay attention to. Now this will save you money, this will save you time, this will make you a better musician. Before we get into it, make sure you're subscribed. I'm Jeremy, this is Guitar Hunter, let's boogie. A couple months ago, I jumped on a plane, I flew from here, I flew to Springfield, Missouri, and I got to hang out with the Chapmans. John, Jason, and Jeremy Chapman, three brothers that have an amazing guitar shop in the Ozark. One of the things that we did, the first video that we did, is that we compared the Bourgeois Touchstone Dreadnought to a Bourgeois uh, Dreadnought made in the U.S. Now these guitars, it's interesting, there's definitely some fun spec differences. Both are effectively the same guitar, made from the same stack of wood, but one is assembled in the U.S., one's assembled in China. And so I was blindfolded and I was asked, tell me which one is which? And so I wondered, can I hear the difference? Can I just sit there and hear? Now, 20 years ago, if there was a guitar made in China versus a guitar made in the U.S., it would be very obvious, but it was incredibly shocking how different it was. Now, here's a clip of me trying to figure out which guitar was which, and uh, I'll include some of the video that came from that day. All right, here we go, guitar one. <laughs> The first guitar was the actual bourgeois guitar. Uh, the, the B guitar was the touchstone guitar. This is a uh, bourgeois touchstone dreadnought. Now this guitar, there's a lot to be said about this guitar. There's a lot of videos about this guitar, but here's what you need to know. This is a proper bourgeois guitar that is made by Eastman. So I'll run through it real quick. Number one, it's an Alaskan spruce top that is braced and voiced by Dana Bourgeois and the team in Lewiston, Maine. And then it is packed and it is sent over to China. And then from there, the back and sides are put together, finished. Uh, the headstock, everything about this guitar is put together and assembled in a factory of brilliant boutique guitar builders who also live in China. That's a thing and it's really good. Now this guitar came out and they're, you know, full fat, full powered, $28.99 I think is the retail price on these. So I have this one, I also have right back here, the shiny one back there, is uh, the OM version. So I will do videos on both of those, but this video is all about cultivating your ear. So as I sat there and I listened, I came up with about six things that I was listening for, feeling for, trying to detect with my senses. Number one, I was just looking for the general amount of power coming out of this guitar. Usually, guitars that are made in China, import guitars, have thick polyurethane finishes, and that makes just their general responsiveness different, and their their total power output lower. So I was listening, are they both the same volume? Are they both, do they both have the same amount of punch and presence as they are being played? And so the first thing I'm just thinking about is power, and I found myself leaning in, I felt myself like trying to really feel against the floor for just the power that's getting put out from this guitar. The number one thing an affordable guitar cannot do is give you good bass output. Not totally true, not true all the time, but 
by and large, if you're gonna look at an affordable guitar, the first thing that's gonna go away is that low, growly, feel it in your belly, feel it in your body, feel it in the room bass. So that's the number two thing. When you think about a guitar, when you get a guitar on your lap, pay attention to the amount of bass that is coming out of it. Now the third thing is note separation. When you're listening to a guitar, are you able to hear each of those notes individually or does it get muddy? Because sometimes when guitars are made more effective, if they're over braced, if they have really thick bracing, if they're more made to be more affordable and more durable, one of the things that really goes away is the ability to clarify and to keep that clear note separation between each of those six strings. That the quality of single notes. You should be able to get... You should feel the, the texture and the sponginess and the power of each single note. Thick finishes kill this. So this is the thing that if a guitar sounds thin, now thin just means lacking in life, bass, presence, all of these words just, you know it when you hear it and you feel it. It's the idea that you would have a guitar and that each of those notes, you could back off. You don't have to play hard, you don't have to strum really hard, but you could just play. that you would be able to play and each note is both the same volume but also the same power level. Now to move even more specifically down from note separation is to move into the quality of individual notes. When you get guitars, you need to pay attention to every single note that's coming out of them and that's where expensive guitars and really well-made guitars tend to shine. My Wright Luthery J35, whatever we call that guitar, the number 36, that guitar has the most clarity and punch and bass and articulation to single notes on the E string, the B string, on the G, single notes ring out and they are present and they are powerful and they're really wonderful. The fifth thing that you have to pay attention to is sustain. So one of the things I was listening for is when the song was over, I listened for how long those notes continued to ring. That is one of the largest markers of a well-built guitar is its ability to hang on to that energy. Uh, guitars are physics systems. They are energy that comes from your hands and gets vibrated into the guitar, gets resonated through the body of the guitar, and then gets sent out of the sound hole. And as good guitars can hang on to a lot of that uh, energy, great guitars can continue. <laughs> and what ended up being the giveaway for me as to which guitar was which when I was sitting with the Chapmans is resonance. Resonance is the guitar's ability to put out energy in a way that it resonates with other things around it. So this is, can you feel a guitar in the room with you? Does it just sound like it's coming from right here at your belly or are you feeling it kind of wash around in the room with you? And so for me, one of the giveaways was I ended up finding myself planting my feet flat on the ground and really leaning forward and really trying to hear what's coming out of this guitar. I was able to feel resonance in the ground from the American-made bourgeois that I didn't get as much, uh, and, you know, but it still was a total toss-up. <laughs> That's how to train your ear. That is how to pay attention for good guitars. These are things you gotta work on, and I'm with you. And there's a community of people that are with you. The Guitar Hunter community wants you to know more about guitars and to find the right guitars for you. If you need help, make sure you're subscribed. 
every video that we put on the channel, we want to be helpful to you to help you grow as a guitar player and a guitar hunter. Now, there's a whole lot more information that you need to know if you're trying to become a master guitar hunter, and there's an entire course all about it. There's a link in the description down below. It's called Write Guitars Faster. It will help you figure out how to buy the right guitar the first time, and then it'll help you overcome the fact that you're gonna buy the wrong guitar and I will teach you how to sell guitars and get the most money back out of them so that you end up with a collection of guitars that feel like you, that represent you, that are just awesome and you cannot help but create music and make new friends and build community. So I'm in your corner, I'm cheering for you. Thanks for watching, I'm Jeremy. This is a Bourgeois Touchstone. There's a link in the description down below for these as well. And uh, man, I hope you develop some great ears and you find incredible guitars because it's Man, it's so good. All right, go and fill the world with music and friendship. Thanks for watching. See you later.